This conversation about GPU shortages and stuff is one that's actually very cute. With a little bit of experience, I can speak very well to this. Why? I know that there are two realities. AMD wants to make money, Nvidia wants to make money. You have money, you want to buy GPU? I say exercise your greatest superpower, which is the power of your wallet. Wait until they're begging you to take these GPUs. If we look at the market currently, the situation is abysmal right now. I understand. I remember 2020 when things turned around and GPUs were coming out, 2021, more GPU generations were coming out and they were refreshing things going into 2022, everybody was freaking out, right? Everybody was wondering, am I gonna ever be able to get a GPU, blah, blah, blah. But those of us who've been experienced in this particular thing, we just camped out. That's what you do. Sit on that dough. Sit on it. Go put it in some bank account where you can't find it. Just, you know, lose that money and don't let yourself start itching. Now, the console warriors will also show up now and say, well, look at the market. <laughs> That's why you can't build a PC. And for the sake of transparency, I usually hate doing this, but I think someone's got to be able to see the process at play so that you know, okay, this is a reality and you can breathe easy. I have a build that I use, um, you know, I'm actually, it's a computer, it's a PC I'm recording this footage on. I wanted it to be AM5, all of the new generation stuff. So I'm kind of piecing it together. And so it's got some of what I want, but it's also got some, you know, components that I leveraged a few years ago when everything had calmed down. <laughs> you know, there's always the calm down phase where there'll be GPUs on the market. You won't believe your eyes. And so in that build, I put a 6800 XT. And I got the one of the cheapest Ryzen CPUs I could find. I ordered it from AliExpress. But there is another uh, GPU that I think is, is of note in this conversation. It's a 6750 XT. This GPU right now, if you go online, they're asking for some real stupid amounts of money. Let me go ahead and show you here on PC Part Picker what I'm talking about. Right now, someone's asking for $588. Another person's asking for $849. Someone's asking for $567. Someone's asking for $918. The, this GPU is not worth that much. Do you hear me? This GPU is a $300 GPU. In fact, I made a video on exactly how to make a bill that will cost you $650 to $700. And I used that particular GPU for that build. It smokes what the PlayStation 5 Pro can do. If we bring out raw rasterization, put this thing on a 1440p monitor and pump out frames, it is a bad boy, this GPU itself. In fact, I was so convinced when Daniel Owen went ahead and showed it, I got myself one. And this is a slice, a snapshot of my receipt in order for me not to go and uh, freaking NDA myself here. I ensured that it was a GPU that I wanted to have in my arsenal. But if you go with the narrative of, as to what people are saying, you would not believe that this GPU cost way less than people are asking for because some people are wanting to capitalize on the fact that right now there's a new launch and people who may not want to buy the new launch and jump into the used market, they're going to see something shocking and they're probably not going to have any choice. It's carefully done by a lot of people who want to take advantage of the market. Your best bet to basically go ahead and treat this ailment is to not buy anything. Okay. Look at it. They're asking you 500 bucks. 800 bucks, 900 bucks for a GPU that its MSRP is $360 on sale. They slashed it even all the way down to 300 bucks. And somewhere, somehow, somebody else expects you to come ahead and pay a premium for it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You don't need it that much. Sit on that dough. Like I said, lose that money somewhere safe so that you don't get to see it until you see MSRP and everybody's brain starts to come back. Because I can tell you, I have friends who even fell into the trap and paid premium for 3060s, 3060 Ti's, prices that nobody would ever ask, but because they wanted to get these items fast, they wanted it now, whatever it is, they overspent. And then when the market calmed down, they had basically donated an extra three, four, five hundred dollars $500 into somebody else's fund for no reason at all. Another GPU that I think has been a very big shocker for me is one that I also own, which is very interesting. In fact, 
if some of you may be wondering, I actually put together um, some of my video clips that I've actually used to make. I use that GPU to make a video that I titled Anatomy of a Gaming PC. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys over here so that you can see it yourself. It is this particular video here. And I talk about the different components that you have in a gaming PC. And this GPU, the 6750XD, is that particular build. I eventually converted this PC to be my living room PC. I was trying to show PC, you know, console gamers who were looking at maybe the PS5 Pro and the PC, what the, you know, possibilities were. I was getting a lot of people dragging me in the comment section saying, you know, the convenience. And da, 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 da. All right. The video was for those who were interested. I mean, <laughs> you know, I was kind of, I was like, man, this is kind of weird. I mean, I usually don't want to show anybody my computers anyways, but I was like, okay, maybe I can help somebody out there. And I, I'm happy that I did help some people. Some people watch the videos. They got to understand exactly what it is that they needed to do. And they were able to go ahead and, you know, make, uh, I think, uh, reasonable decisions and reasonable builds, especially at a time where there was a lot of stock. It was holiday season, holiday period. And there was a lot of, uh, you know, there were a lot of deals going on. And the second GPU that I have is uh, my uh, 6800 XT. This one's a little fun one that I did uh, a while ago. I mean, I got the 6800 XT in 2022, and I paid MSRP close to with a bundle on top of it. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for it. Get out of here. But it's here. It's in one of my builds where I showed, you know, it's a janky build that I'm doing. It's, uh, I'm, I like the open concept, and I'm messing with this the one on the left side, the MSI. You see it on the logo. And it was one of those builds where that GPU, when I got it, they gave me three games with it. They bundle those games. When there's stock, they beg you to take the stock. It's not what you're seeing right now. A lot of people, yes, they maybe have been fortunate to buy the MSRP, you know, 9070s and stuff. Don't worry. Those GPUs, when the competition starts to get tough and the 5080s get in stock and people still want their NVIDIA drugs and all of that stuff, you're going to find GPUs to buy and you're going to find good prices to buy them. There is just a waiting game that has to happen. In the meantime, though, while you wait, what do you do? And I think that's a very valid question that a lot of people may be asking. Well, I mean, I'm waiting. You know, what do I do? Well, what's your current position? What's your current situation? Do you have a place that you already play your video games? Keep playing your games there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the, the, market's not, the market's not running away. You just got to let the market do its thing. And there are people who are going to be impatient. They're going to go ahead and buy. You know, that's their business, Right? Let them do what they want to do, but you are not going to fall into that, you know, uh, category. And to be honest, if they need it, if they have the money, sure, it's their choice. But if you're looking at saying you want to leverage the very best deal and you want to be happy about your purchase in terms of you ensuring that you paid the best bang for buck, this is not the time for you to run out there and start doing all of that. Mm -mm. Enthusiasts, they usually run in. Now, sometimes the early bird gets the best worm. This is another thing. If you were not lining up at a micro center that day, Mm, it's going to be a minute. It's going to be at least another few weeks. And, you know, maybe end of March, we'll start seeing some stock come back in April. And then in the summer, there's going to be stock. And then they're going to be ensuring that they can leverage those summer deals, those 4th of July stuff. They're coming. I mean, you're probably thinking, man, am I going to wait till July? Well, where are you running to? Right? I mean, you, what's wrong with waiting? You know what I mean? Especially when you don't want to go get yourself scammed out there. And so this is exactly how the GPU market cycles. When new stuff comes out, you know, everybody wants to put the squeeze on people to try to get the most impatient folk to go ahead and spend the most amount of money that they can get from them. So what you're seeing is that cycle. And I've seen some console warriors try to translate it as, well, you know, see the console market, you got to spend about $1,000 on just the GPU, or you got to spend $2,000 to get close to the PS5 Pro. He told a bunch of nonsense. That 6750 XT. It makes the PS5 Pro looks like a wash because when we actually power it with like, you know, some games and it starts punching out frames here, because again, one thing about, you know, the gaming, in, the gaming market that a lot of people don't really even ever talk about is the CPUs, the sleeper CPUs. Yes, those ones are still in stock. So you can get yourself a mighty, mighty beast of a CPU for very, you know, a very affordable price. And you can push that GPU to the max that a console can never and that GPU is going to be a monster. 6750XT is a 1440p monster in terms of its price to performance ratio. Now, the, six, the 6800XT is a beast with all the updates and optimization. 
that thing will easily move into 4K and sit with some real big dogs. Now, it's not going to be, you know, the alpha dog in that category, but it will be doing its job very well. And 1448 is not even, it doesn't even sweat. I was playing Robocop the other day with it, and that sucker was punching out, goodness, it was punching out like in some cases. Yeah, this is the performance, and I was recording. Uh, you know, 1440, everything turned off. I don't use uh, upscaling, except they hide it from me. Uh, it was it was it was touching 100 FPS. Look at it here with Robocop. I mean, I was like, yo, this thing is, this GPU is still going strong. In some places, I saw over triple digit FPS in some instances. Now, the game has some work to do, especially when the environment gets like a little loaded and you're, you know, kind of, you know, loading in new areas and such. You see some stuff, but I, I think I got like two or three stutters, but those are like loading area type of stutters, if you get what I mean. You're just getting to a new place. You're about to load it in. You know, you get a stutter here. But by and large, you know, you get a really good experience. And the guys at Digital Foundry, they said something uh, just recently. They said that one of the things that people don't really talk about, that they, that actually that they don't really, um, that they can't really convey is how good games look on your monitor versus how they actually look when it's all compressed to YouTube. It doesn't really look, you know, anything, it doesn't look anything special. But, you know, when you're playing it and when you're having that experience, it's insane, right? And this, is, this, this CPU that's powering this game at this, and this is not even a, this is a placeholder CPU. By the way, this is a CPU that on AliExpress was like $126, $116 during the holiday period. So I just put it in there just to say, you wait till I can afford, you know, uh, 99 something XD, yada, 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 so that we can actually go crazy. I want to see, I want to see frames, baby, you know, <laughs> all this, you know, all this stuff about, you know, upscalers and stuff. I mean, it's fun and dandy and stuff, but man, I do like the smooth experience, if you get what I mean. And I'll play 30 FPS if I like the game, don't get me wrong, but if we're going into PC, I have a, I have a target in that regard. So learning and understanding the ecosystem and what it is that you want is the way to go and leverage the market when the market has calmed down. When the market is hot like this, mm -mm, it's, it's not the time. You, you're probably better off just giving that money to charity. I guarantee you than going out there and letting yourself get scammed, you know, to spend way more money than you need to on PC components. Comment section. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate you guys so much. Peace out.